this map again. Ugh. At least not to two lights this time. Bit of angle. Oh, we're on the other side. Okay. Where do, where do we go? Quite honestly, I think we come down here. The amount of times that I go mid, and it's like this... <sighs> mid has more potential, and it has the better shots, you know, because you shoot the heavies as they cross, if anything sits around here, whatever. But my trouble when I go mid, is if, like, their top-tier platoon pushes in, and they've got something up here, I, I get stuck. I get stuck in mid so often. Now, you're not really going to be hearing a lot from me as post-production max this video because most of this video, um, I actually, I think I was in very much try-hard mode, so I was actually talking through what I was doing for a lot of it. Also, it's a good game. It gets good at the end. Um, it does just take a little bit of time, but I can't really speed a lot up because a lot of what happens is actually important to the game. So I just wanted to say that, just get that out of the way, um, but... Yeah, we're, we're just going to let the video run, or go through, we'll let Live Max explain everything. So the heavy, the heavy platoon is south. Foshby is south. TVP is spotted. PTA is north. Surely that BC doesn't live. Oh shit. Uh oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, just as, <laughs> oh man, just as I push, we'll get unspotted in three, there you go. You, c you couldn't make that shit up, could you? I don't want to push two forwards because of that. Take spot no. Is this guy actually going to try and just keep playing against me here? I was going to say...
Dude, seriously. Dude, how... This guy should actually be dead. I'm actually going to take this opportunity and leave. I think that was probably the best time to do it. I'm annoyed because I couldn't really I couldn't do a huge amount I mean RNG definitely fucked me though in terms of hitting the um the uh what's it called oh, okay Sure thing, boss. Hitting the centurion.
this is definitely another one of those maps that I feel like wait <sighs> fuck off man He should be dead. Balls! <clears throat> I tried. I didn't even have an R on the mark. I might have it. I don't think I had anything blind though, did I? Apparently I did. Oh, the E5! Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L huge. Was that Drekken? Do you reckon that's Shagster that comes by stream every now and again? Eh, not too bad. We got back over 4k for the session today. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What, what's our overall now in the STB? 3.5, it's not too bad. That's kind of what I used to aim for for my reward tank. So to have a tech tree at 3.5 isn't awful. I actually enjoyed that more than I thought, to be honest with you. Like, ge genuinely. It wasn't awful. I, kn I know we had a bit of a lumpy bit. Like... What? With the exception of the last couple of games for about an hour. But outside of that, all in all, I'm actually pretty pleased with how it went. So, with that, if we bring up the ratings real quick. I did kind of give you a sense at the end there of... Um, what I think of this vehicle, but we're gonna do our standard ratings anyway. So first things first, for overall tank rating, I'm gonna give this vehicle a four out of five. The STB is pretty good. Like it's a fairly fun tank. It's pretty flexible. It's good all round. Where it loses that last star, where it loses the the five out of five, the gun handling can be frustrating. The gun isn't precise like a like a leopard or like an m60 or something like that it just feels a little bit more clunky in comparison it kind of loses a bit on that also this is more of a personal thing because apparently everybody else is in the same boat that the stb doesn't have armor but it always seems that when i shoot stbs in the front of the turret i i don't pen them i don't know if it's just a me thing but then when playing the tank it just always seems to be penned and Sometimes the armor turret arm will really work quite well. Sometimes it really won't. Outside of those couple of things, I would say it's a very, very, very decent tank. Some people really don't like it. Like, I know Daki's opinion on the STB. He doesn't like the vehicle. But I honestly found it quite nice. The the huge DPM does make up for a lot of things. And I think that's that's what brings it up a bit as well. Because if not, I, f I do feel it would be a little bit lower. For ease of marking, I've gone for a 3 out of 5. I was debating between a 2 and a 3 for this. Obviously, I know that seems quite low, but you've got to remember a tier 10, vi tier 10 vehicles are the hardest. They're always going to be a little lower. I only, I gave it a 3 because I only had kind of one struggle period in and around 92-93%. Definitely not the worst tier 10 I've done, but definitely not the best. And then for marking experience as well, I've gone for a 4 out of 5. This kind of ties into the fact that it's not a bad tank. I enjoy playing the vehicle, and if, if you enjoy playing the vehicle, the marking experience is never really going to be that bad, because at the end of the day, you're just playing a tank that you like. It's not like playing something that I hate and I'm just playing it to mark it. It's actually a vehicle I quite like. I was kind of aiming for good damage as well. So, all in all, 
not too bad. Again, a couple of little bits, you know, with the mark being so high, it does bring the market experience down a bit because when you get towards 95, you do have to try hard quite a lot. But anyway, that's all she wrote for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. As per all of the previous videos, although I'm still batch recording these before the first one's even gone live, so... Sorry if you've made a great suggestion, it's not in the video yet. Uh, please do make some suggestions if you feel like there's anything that I'm missing, feel like there's anything I can improve on. If you enjoyed the videos, give the videos a like, and um, make sure you continue to watch the series. But without that, thank you all so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.